Hello. Yeah. So let's try to incorporate the lesson to sample problems. No. So for problem number one, compute the discharge of water through 75 mm pipe if the mean velocity is 2.5 meter per second. So, ang tinatanong only is the discharge. We are given here a diameter of 75 millimeter. Tapos, ang kanyang velocity is also given at 2.5 meter per second. So, when you write it down, since the given is pipe, the cross-section is circular. So, the diameter again is 75 mm. And for unity of units unity of units so in meters gawin natin siyang meters 0 0.075 m meters then velocity 2.5 meter per second note ang term na tinatawag natin ditong discharge pertains to the volume flow rate q di ba so, for all engineering, civil engineering problems, kapag ang term is discharge only, so, i-assume na natin yan agad na that is Q. Where Q is equal to the area of the pipe multiplied by the velocity or AV. Ganun lang kasi. And then, we should be consistent with the units, number 2. So, sabi ko nga, para uniform ang ating mga units, gumamit tayo ng SI kung SI, English kung English. Tapos ang pinaka-basic unit is meter and second. So, gawin natin yung mm or millimeter into meter first. And then, pwede ka na mag-proceed sa pag-multiply. Now that we have uh, diameter and velocity, we shall now get the area of the pipe as pi over 4 r squared. Diba? The, the, the area of a circle so, that is pi r squared or pi over 4 d squared pala. Yeah. So, in terms of radius, pwedeng pi r squared. In terms of diameter, pi over 4. No. Okay. So, pi over 4 by 0 0.075 squared multiplied by the velocity 2.5. So, you will get a unit of... Uh, m squared times m per second. So, m squared multiplied by m, you will get a final unit of m cube per second. And, 0 0.075 squared by 2.5 by pi divided by 4. So, calculator na lang yan, no? So, the final answer should be 0 0.011 cubic meter per second. So, ganun lang kasimple mag- solve ng discharge walang hindi malatag na pag-isar